आयत वेलकम टू द अंबारी क्लास सो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्क्रैच एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज अंबारी देन देन वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज हडूप देन टाइप्स ऑफ मैनेजिंग टूल्स देन आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ अंबारी सो व्हाट इज अंबारी सो बिफोर दैट वी विल डिस्कस अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ अंबारी सो अंबारी इज अ लेट 2000 थाउजेंड अंबारी बेसिकली इंट्रोड्यूस इन लेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व एंड आफ्टर दैट अंबारी बिकेम अ पाचे हडू प्रोजेक्ट एंड ग्रेजुएटेड फ्रॉम देयर इन टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन नाउ अंबारी वॉज वॉज अ फर्स्ट ऑफ इट्स ओन काइंड ऑफ मैनेजिंग टूल्स दीज डेज हु इज हेल्पिंग अस टू प्लेइंग अराउंड विद हडू एंड जनरली अंबारी सपोर्ट्स अ सिक्सटी फोर बिट ऑफ सिस्टम so what is ambari now so ambari is a basically a browser based a management interface and uh, apache ambari is a tool for provisioning managing and monitoring so this ambari uh, dashboard gives us a privilege to play with your clusters using provision using managing using uh, monitoring so this gives us a browser based management interface so ambari having three operations three major operations we can say that provision manage and monitoring provision and provision we can provision a different kind of servers in the same cluster um, uh, setup like we we can access or we can create nagio server we can create a ganglia servers we can create a, a secondary name node and all that so ambari is a, is basically responsible for installing of hadoop cluster irrespective of cluster sizing and number of nodes ambari then ambari uh, uses rest apis to automate installation of the clusters and uh, it also automates the configuration of cluster very easily through the web front then integration with the uh, other tools uh, ambari provide basically a rest apis to connect it with the different tools available in the market like teradata hp microsoft operations so as per our i it requirement these are uh, rest apis help us to integrate some other tools as we already know teradata hp microsoft so we can integrate these tools with our ambari infrastructure and then we will move on to the mo- monitoring part we so it provide us um, a basic or good quality of da- and dashboard for monitoring the status and health of uh, of hadoop cluster and it also uses uh, ambari matrices and alert system to gather the information about the systems and alert administration and about uh, and related that issues and it also provides us a central management of services for starting stopping and uh, reconfiguration we can start our server we can stop our servers under the manage and uh, and it it basically simplify the whole process of management then what is hadoop hadoop is a free java based programming framework that supports the processing of large data sets of distributed computing environment and this is a part of apache project these days and uh, it it will help you to collect a, uh, so many data nodes or number of, number of nodes and make a cluster of that and then you can distribute your uh, data on that and then play around with that and ambari um, um, ambari web and display information such as service specific summaries and graph and alert you can see in uh, under the dashboard these things uh, what are the types of managing tools so type of managing tool we have uh, so many ty- uh, so many tools in that uh, web based data collection map reduce programming then moving a data mo- monitoring then analysis of uh, uh, sql etl so i already given a uh, one liner of that highly extensible and scalable open source web software project and solar is a basically a stand alone full text search server and hbase is a no sql database 
and Uzi, Uzi is used for the workflow data management and coordination of those workflows manage and direct a cyclic graph of that actions a scoop is usually usually basically used for the transfer of data between Hadoop and the relational database and Nagios is used for the network monitoring tool Impala is used for the uh, SQL qu queries engine work for both analytical and as well as uh, transactional. Now let's talk about the minimum requirement. So, so hardware requirement, there is no single set of hardware requirement for that. Ambari is used 64-bit uh, of systems. So for example, if you have a SUSE, you can use a 64-bit of that and Red Hat 6, 5, 7, you can use CentOS 5, 6 and 7, you can use browser requirement as we already know that uh, ambari is a web gui web based tool so what we need we need a good quality or a higher upgrade version of uh, browsers so mac if you are using a mac os x you can use uh, firefox latest latest stable version and if you are using a uh, linux you can use uh, firefox google and Windows you can use Internet Explorer 9, 10 these days you can use 11 also Firefox latest stable release Safari you can use you can use the Google Chrome uh, the stable version or then software requirement what kind of software requirement before um, proceeding you need a YUM uh, then you need a RPM, SCP, curl, wget database requirement if you have already a database you just need to connect on that uh, you can just uh, integrate with that ambari server if you don't have ambari gives you a privilege to with go with the default option if you have a hive or a edge catalog requires a mysql database for it use you can choose to use to use a cur uh, current instance or you can use a ambari default one just now we will talk about the architecture in our architecture we have a ambari web we have ambari servers we have ambari agent uh, which is uh, installed in all the host and we have a different different host so basically ambari have a two components ambari server and ambari agent ambari server is a basically a master process which communicates with ambari agent and uh, installed on each participant in the cluster this has postgres database instance so ambari basically ambari server is installed on any node outside the cluster from where it can access the entire cluster for installation and configuration and ambari is a tool to manage a monitor a hadoop cluster or and ambari also send a heartbeat to servers to let know that the node is available for performing a task and uh, ambari agent also run on the nodes which perform a different operation and task the order from the ambari server itself ambari also collects a different uh, matrices from the nodes which include cluster details hardware details like ram users space utilization ambari web shows all the information in the form of graphs for and it consists ambari server ambari agent matrix collectors and alert me mechanism ambari web now we will discuss on ambari web ambari web it is a web front end from where we do all the tasks and administrations and it had different tabs uh, for services and host of monitoring and managing them and this is ambari server so ambari server runs on any any one managing node which controls all the agent running on all the other nodes and then we will discuss on this is agent the agent are responsible for taking the task from server and getting them executed on on the nodes and agent should be running on all the other nodes where we need to deploy the services so wherever the services are required we need a agent for that so for example we have a 10 host host we need a 10 agent if we have a 15 hosts we need a 15 agent for that and you can set up your uh, ambari server out outside of cluster in a real world generally we we are we are not using the same, same set of cluster we are 
deploy our ambari outside from the cluster for the best practice bye bye take care